Hey, you heard about that new Kingdom Hearts event? Yeah, son, I heard that shit was gonna be pretty cool, bro. Hey, that shit may be exclusive, though. Nah, it ain't gonna be exclusive, bro. It ain't gonna be exclusive. How you know? Because, bro, it's Square Enix, dog. It's Disney, son. It's Kingdom Hearts. It's not gonna be exclusive again. Trust me, bro. I know they pulled that exclusive shit before, but we already rallied against this shit back in 2015, dog. We holding it down. Uh, alright. Alright, man, but guess what? Bitch, you guess it! Oh my god, Square Enix, I just, I just talked about this yesterday. I just talked about this yesterday, Jesus. So, if you remember two days ago, I talked to you guys about a Kingdom Hearts fan event. This Kingdom Hearts fan event was something that, of course, worried me, and it may have been worrying other people in the community because of the fact that the last time we heard the words Kingdom Hearts fan event, we got the exclusive event to where people got to see a trailer and the community didn't. We got an exclusive event to where people saw story-based elements and we did not. So it worries me when we hear the words Kingdom Hearts fan event because we're so close to the game releasing that it seems like at this stage they would be willing to show off a lot more information than what they did back then. And you know what I mean when I say this. This means that new worlds, they may see a bunch of new worlds. They may get one to two trailers. They may get a trailer and a full gameplay reveal. It's crazy at the potential of what this fan event may hold for Kingdom Hearts 3. Although it hasn't been said that Kingdom Hearts 3 will be here. Of course, it's a lot of fun to speculate what could be actually shown off at a dedicated one hour and 20 minute long Kingdom Hearts fan event kind of similar to the Final Fantasy 15 event that they had last year or back in 2015 so it's just like you know damn man game developers and game publishers have this kind of synergy when it comes to fan bases this synergy is something that we see with every other publisher every other studio to where they know exactly when things need to be shown they know exactly when of course to say something and and i mean to the public not to someone who's going to relay that information later like we have to have with kingdom hearts apparently but we have people who know these things like these community directors they know these things they know when it's time to say something and they know when to relay that information to of course the execs and allow them to pretty much tell the people who work on of course these trailers and stuff to it's time to work on a trailer um it's time to get ready to put something out again to show them something again for instance the Last of Us Part 2 which is one of the heaviest games that I'm looking out for of course just as the Last of Us Part 2 was about to get its announcement or was about to get its next trailer. They put out a little sprinkle out there, which was the images of Ellie and, of course, the other woman's arms. And, of course, one of them was holding the switchblade and one of them was holding the hammer with other imagery in there for us to speculate about and for us to think about critically and, of course, analyze and be analytical about but when it comes to Kingdom Hearts, it's just like, oh, hey, here's a trailer. Um, Yeah, we'll see you guys in like five months to a year again. It, you know, that's how it is with Kingdom Hearts. That's literally how it is. I mean, yeah, we'll get a couple of interviews probably throughout the year with Tetsu Nomura. But, I mean, last year, literally all we saw for Kingdom Hearts 3 was two screenshots. Two screenshots of a game that at that point had been developed for three years. Games and stuff that has been announced at the same time started development at the same time has been released kingdom hearts we're still wondering when we're going to see trailers rather than expecting it rather than getting of course screenshots that kind of hint at a trailer to come i mean and they did this with the uh thebes battle too and that was interesting because we saw that like a year ago and we finally got to see the thebes battle this year so it's kind of like what the fuck um but yeah, you know, it's a huge disconnect because what they say in the announcement is that there's an exclusive experience. And that's a weird way to say it because it's like an experience could be as far as something that you can do there in the flesh. As far as revealing a trailer, that necessarily doesn't have to be exclusive too. And if they reveal a trailer or some type of gameplay reveal... I mean, eh, who knows? But I feel like if somebody from some type of journal and site goes, they probably know what it felt like to not be able to see it. And 
I feel like this time around, there will be someone there with a camera. I feel like this time around, there will be someone there with a camera. I don't think that this time, you know, people are going to really hold true to the whole please don't record policy that they have. Because, I mean, if you get caught recording, what's the worst they can do? I think some, like, hell, a movie theater, I think, fines you for, like, a hundred. If they don't take legal actions up to the highest degree, if they don't, prosecute you to the highest extent of the law the legal ramifications could be somewhere like a hundred to a thousand dollars i think as far as this like little venue shit would go i think as far as what they could do is probably kick you out while you're trying to record footage of a gameplay trailer that's not really harming any that's it's it isn't really going to harm anything besides the potential to release this trailer at the time that they see fit to the public that's really all it's going to do but it isn't going to harm anything because games are interactive experiences and you can't really interact with a trailer you can only watch a trailer react to a trailer and that's it but you can't interact with it means meaning control elements of it or do anything with it besides watch it so i feel like as far as that's concerned they can only throw you out anyways so someone trying it probably will happen hell even if we can just get 30 seconds of what will probably essentially be a two minute trailer i feel like that's better than nothing if someone does you know feel ballsy enough to do it but square enix disney if you do a trailer i understand that you want to give the people who actually paid money to be there some type of exclusivity but just hold the trailer for 24 hours. Please don't do what you did with the last trailer when it came to Cable Town, Sora having a new Keyblade. Of course, there being a room that Sora was looking out of the window, and it's like a library, and there was a checkerboard on the window seal. Don't do that again. Please don't do that again. Just release the trailer. Release the trailer if you do one. If you do a gameplay reveal, hell, you can keep the gameplay reveal if you want to, but release the fucking trailer. Trailers are heavy. We're getting close to the release. This means that they're finally going to be going into the stages of what they do with other, what they've done with other Kingdom Hearts games, to where there's trailers are going to become a lot more story relevant and we are already starting to see this with the Ansem and Zemnis appearance and of course the young Xehanort appearance in the Toy Story trailer but thank you guys for tuning into the video this is being boy Mazia don't forget to do a little A class gaming and everything you do don't forget to keep it A class I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I hope you guys share my thoughts on this as well who knows maybe we'll have to start some type of rally to get Square Enix to acknowledge that any type of official Kingdom Hearts 3 information we do want it released to the public but this is being boy Mazia and peace the heck out. Square Enix, I literally just said you gotta do better.